26 foot rear living Innsbruck fifth wheel here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, all in all, looks like it's in pretty good shape. Uh, like a lot of campers with this age, some of the exterior stickers um, look to have uh, been sun checked pretty good. That's pretty common, especially uh, on the side of the trailer where the sun would tend to, um, you know, touch the trailer first in the morning and have more exposure. This side of the trailer is stored away from the sun. You can see that the stickers are all in good shape. Um, I like that these folks put some good preventative measures in here. You see that it has the slide out awning toppers. That's going to keep a lot of the rain and sun and snow and debris from hitting the top of the slide out. Uh, something else I noticed was uh, above the bathroom vent fan. They do have uh, a max air vent cover so they could leave that vent open. Um, you know, you could prevent uh, accidental rain exposure or you could leave it open on purpose in the rain and enjoy some fresh airflow. Now, uh, I mentioned big rear living. You see the big windows back here. It's one of the nicest parts of rear living. Two things you get more of in a rear living than just about anything else in their class are windows and just space. And uh, both of those are good things to have. Let me back up here and give you a nice view of the living room area. I do like that you have this uh, like linoleum type floor that goes from the entryway clear up through the entire kitchen. So if you're just hopping in and out to grab a drink real quick, it's so much easier to keep this clean. You do need a measure of carpet in front of a floor flush slide like you see right here. This whole uh, sofa and dinette arrangement is in the super slide here in the living room. That's, uh, this is the main reason why we have all this extra space in here. But you see that they did add lots of storage right up, the whole way across the slide above your fixtures. A lot of times you'll only tend to get cabinets above either the sofa or the dinette. A lot of manufacturers like to leave out that handy little thing. Now you'll notice fun little stuff like there are, uh, you know, you see power outlets hidden under the dinette table here in the living room. Way ahead of their time down at Gulfstream when they were doing stuff like that. It gave you an easy place to, you know, plug in uh, devices and all sorts of things. Um, you know, that's something that's really just now starting to sink in. This trailer had been stored for a little bit. Uh, the folks decided to store this chair upside down on the sofa. That's why you see the little bit of the divot right here. But uh, basically that just needs time to breathe and relax and that'll work itself out. Now you can see, looking at all the fabrics, especially this kind of fabric, this could very easily get snagged up if they had something like a pet. Their claws tend to get a hold of it, and that's not the case here. I'm not detecting any odor from like smokers or mold or anything like that. This has been a well-kept, uh, you know, used but well-kept uh, RV. Again, more storage above the rear chairs in the back, and those big windows are just fantastic for letting in lots of light. Um, again, preventative things. These folks obviously are experienced. They knew that going down the road, the cabinets could potentially pop open. And uh, my guess is they had that happen once. So, you know, easy little preventative things. Just a, a simple little stick through the handle keeps things from popping open. Um, it might seem a little unsightly sitting here right now, but remember, that means that these folks knew uh, how to use their trailer, how to take care of it, and how to, to proactively prevent damage to it. Um, central air, definitely going to keep you comfortable through the, uh, the hotter camping summer months. And you do see that we do have that residential ceiling fan up top there. Now, uh, next to the refrigerator, you see you have almost a floor to ceiling pantry. The only reason I don't say completely floor to ceiling is just because they have the converter down under it. Now you have lots of space in here for, uh, devices. You see that, uh, this was made before flat screens were super common. So, uh, you know, you could put all your DVR, VCR, satellite brains down here if you were doing that. This can be equipped with a, easy, with a flat screen right now very easily, or if you have a traditional TV. This shelf right here folds down, and uh, that'll allow you to put a larger uh, conventional TV. And the only trick with that is you may want to flip that back up before running in the slide right here. That's actually exactly why they have this little sticker here. It says make sure the... Uh, TVs in the upright position before moving. Kind of sounds like an <laughs> like a uh, airplane demonstration. Seat backs and tray tables must be in their upright positions. Um, big, big closet as we uh, pass through here, and you'll see that you not only have extra large closet space, which 
any floor plan is greatly benefiting from. You always enjoy your closet space, but you have six of these dresser drawers. You have a half dozen dresser drawers on top of the normal storage in the bathroom. Um, this is um, not a true split bath. It's a, uh, kind of a, a take on a split bath where you do have a private shower and um, bathroom in here. Um, you do have lots of extra storage and cabinets for uh, linens, things like, man, that's pretty deep actually. Um, but you also have the, uh, the sink is outside of here. So if someone's taking a shower, you can also, uh, you know, say brush your teeth, wash your hands, do those kind of things. And I really do like that mirror. I love the look of that mirror, just the, uh, the texturing and the color on it. Um, pretty standard front bedroom, nothing too fancy here. Uh, definitely an aftermarket mattress. This is not a cheap camper mattress. Uh, you know, so these folks had, uh, you know, prioritized a good night's sleep for sure. Um, you know, looking at the, uh, the upper corners in, in all four corners of the trailer, I don't see any signs of water damage. Um, again, it just really looks like these folks maintained it well, took care of it, used it, but didn't abuse it. So give us a call, learn a little more. 800-256-5196. Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Safe travels and happy camping.